Our first Hall of Fame inductee depletes, as I said, the auto racing long list. It is Cotton Perry, the pride and joy of Ringgold, Georgia. Cotton played football at Ringgold High School. He liked it okay, but he loved to drive cars and he loved to go fast. So as a teenager, he would uh, hop in his car, test drive it up and down Highway I-75, down Highway 41, up and down just about everywhere. In fact, one time a Georgia Highway patrolman caught him, and the Catoosa County Sheriff at that time was J.D. Stewart. He was familiar with Cotton's exploits, and he told the trooper, I got this. So the sheriff made Cotton promise to never street race again, and he hasn't since. But he didn't stop racing. He just moved from the streets up the road a little bit to the Brainerd Optimist drag strip near the Georgia-Tennessee state line. He teamed up with his uncle, Jim Hedrick, who eventually took a red 66 Chevy 2, that right there, powered with a 301 inline six engine, named it the Pocket Rocket, and the drag racing world has never been the same. Between 1975 and 1981, Cotton won four Southeastern Division championships. He set more than 40 national records, won a dozen NHRA national championships, and he won the U.S. nationals as well. They dominated tracks all over the Southeast, and they made a lot of money. One year made between $150,000 and $300,000 driving that pocket rocket. After Cotton and Uncle Jim won the U.S. Nationals in 1981, the NHRA decided they're going to just eliminate the modified production class. That's a class that Cotton drove in. So Cotton and a bunch of other drivers decided they were going to have them a little drive-in to protest. Well, Cotton and Jim were actually the only ones who pulled over into the grass. So there was no protest and the modified division was eliminated. Cotton and Jim ran a few super stock races, but they sold the pocket rocket and uh, concentrated on growing their own businesses. Three years later, they were back. They ran in what was called the comp division and did really well until the mid-90s when Jim was killed in a tragic traffic accident. Cotton dropped out of racing to concentrate on his son Jamie's racing career and then grandson Dylan, Jamie's son, got the itch and as Hank Jr. might say they just carried on a family tradition. He has seen it all. <laughs> Heck, he's won it all. One of, if not the, most decorated inductees ever in the Greater Chattanooga Sports Hall of Fame, driver of the pocket rocket, Cotton Perry.